Etiology, uh, alcoholic liver disease, very important question. So, let us start with the risk factors for alcoholic liver disease. All those who indulge in alcohol abuse do not develop liver damage. Isn't that interesting? Kind of encouraging for those people, right? So, it, the, uh, all those people who indulge in alcohol abuse do not develop liver damage. Okay, let's see the next line. The incidence of cirrhosis among alcoholics at autopsy is about 10 to 15 percent. Why some individuals are predisposed to alcoholic cirrhosis is not clearly known, but few risk factors have been implicated. So basically, not everybody who drinks gets liver damage, but it has been seen in autopsies that a person who drinks will have 10 to 15 percent chances of having a cirrhosed liver. Why some people develop alcohol cirrhosis is not clearly known, but a few risk factors have been implicated. What are these risk factors? Drinking patterns. See, if the person is a chronic alcoholic, he will get fatty liver. Fatty liver will be very, very common. Fatty liver will then become alcoholic hepatitis in 10 to 20 percent of the cases. And then over 10 years if the person has drunk or he's an alcoholic, he has chances of getting a cirrhosis. It is not the type of drink, try, type of drink doesn't matter, but the ethanol content in this, in these drinks matter. Like if a person is drinking 60 to 80 gram of ethanol in any type of alcoholic beverage for at least 10 years, that means every day, day, every day if he's taking daily, consumption of 60 to 80 gram of ethanol then he will definitely or sorry there is a high chance that he will get a cirrhosed liver. Now what is the alcohol content of each drink you can mention if you want 4 to 6 percent in beer, 10 to 12 percent in wine and 40 to 50 percent in brandy, whiskey, scotch. If somebody tells you wine is non-alcoholic, don't believe them. It is 10 to 12 percent wine. Beer is seemingly the most safest, 4 to 6 percent. Okay. Intermittent drinking is less harmful because a person is giving chance to the liver to recover. So, is drinking patterns this risk factor clear to you? Shall we move on to the next risk factor? Moving on to the next one here, gender, gender, gender. Women have increased susceptibility to develop alcoholic liver disease with much lesser alcohol intake. Even if they take 20 to 60 gram per day, they have a increased susceptibility to develop alcoholic, advanced alcoholic liver disease just 20 to 40 gram per day. For generally, it was told as 60 to 80 gram of ethanol per day, right? But for women, just 20 to 40 gram per day is enough to damage the liver. It is probably linked to the effects of estrogen. It's not clear yet, okay? Malnutrition, let's go to malnutrition now. Which color shall we put for malnutrition? Look here, malnutrition only will not lead to alcoholic liver disease. There is something more. If the person is having chronic alcohol ingestion and impaired nutrition, then he can get alcohol liver disease. It appears that the alcohol, okay, the calories derived from alcohol, they displace other nutrients leading to malnutrition and deficiency of vitamins in alcoholics. There is a deficiency of vitamins in alcoholics. Because of this, there can be alcoholic liver disease. Okay. Moving on, infections. So, so far, where are we? We have finished drinking patterns, gender, malnutrition. Now, we are moving on to infection. Okay. Let us get a revision from our automated friend. Risk factors for alcoholic liver disease. Drinking pattern. Gender. Malnourishment. Infection. 
Hepatitis B and C infection. Genetic factors. So let us cover infections now. Actually, the sixth. Uh, the next point is also infection so let us look at these together see if a person is having uh, he he is cirrhotic okay and he has infections these repeated infections will accelerate the course of they will accelerate the course of the disease so he will become an alcoholic liver disease or a cirrhotic patient much sooner if a person is not an alcoholic and he has some has uh, viral infections he also will get similar lesions uh, which are similar to alcoholic cirrhosis. Now, moving on to hepatitis B and hepatitis C infection. These are viral infections, same thing. They pose an important risk factor for progression of alcoholic liver disease. So, if it is a HBV or a HCV, that is a hepatitis B virus or a hepatitis C viral infection, even if the person is consuming very little alcohol, just let's say 20 to 50 gram per day he is consuming, still they get the disease much faster, okay. And disease progression at younger age, they will get the disease. They have, it will come in greater severity, it will come, okay. And they will have poor survival rate. So, just note that if a hepatitis infection happens, then it will accelerate everything, okay. Now we are moving to genetic factors. <clears throat> okay, genetic factors. The rate of ethanol metabolism is under genetic control. So, what are these enzyme systems? MEOS, microsomal P450 oxidases, and alcohol dehydrogenase. These are the two enzymes. Enzyme systems. Two main enzyme systems are there. So, these will control the ethanol metabolism if there is any genetic polymorphism for these two enzymes there can be susceptibility to alcoholic liver damage no single genotype they have identified yet but you should know two enzymes and the genes for these two enzymes if there is any change there can be problem meos and adh adh you should not forget you have already seen it in pharmacology right alcohol dehydrogenase and MEOS is microsomal P450 oxidases. Two enzymes, MEOS microsomal P450 oxidases, ADH alcohol dehydrogenase. That's right. The genes that are coding for these two enzymes, if they are altered and there is a rate of, there is a change in the rate of the metabolism of ethanol, then there could be a risk for development of alcoholic liver disease. Okay. Can you now tell those uh, points for alcoholic liver disease risk, drinking patterns, gender, malnourishment, infections and lastly the genetic factors, okay. Under genetic factors you have to write two enzyme names, MEOS, 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 MEOS for alcohol, microsomal P450 oxidases, MEOS. What is MEOS? Microsomal P450 oxidases, ADH, alcohol dehydrogenase, that's easy, that you know, you have seen in ethanol metabolism. That's all for now. Tata. Bye. 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 Bye.